Hello, I'm Marion here at Planar Motor, and today I'm going to show you some of the basic functionality of the Planar Motor system. To start, let's take a brief look at the different components. First, the x -bots. They are composed primarily of permanent magnets and are completely passive. The flyways control the x -bots to keep them levitated using completely solid state electronics. Finally, the planar motor controller is responsible for orchestrating the array of flyways and can be programmed in all leading PLC environments, including TIA Portal, Studio 5000, Machine Expert, or TwinCap. Alternatively, the system can also be controlled over Ethernet using the C Sharp and Python APIs or the planar motor tool, a graphical interface that is useful for prototyping and getting familiar with the available commands, which I will show you today. I'll start by placing the x on the surface of the flyways. And as you can see, as soon as I place them there at any arbitrary locations, they are automatically detected and we receive absolute position feedback without any kind of homing routine. From here, I can start levitating the x by sending the activate command. Immediately, you can see that the x are now floating and I can put a piece of paper underneath there and you can tell there are no wheels or bearings or anything, they are actually levitating. Now, to get the x moving around on top of the flyways, I will start by using the basic linear motion command. This command sends an x to any specified x-y coordinate in a simple straight line. So let's start by sending xbot1 into the bottom left-hand corner here, and let's send xbot2 into this position in the middle of the system here. To show the next feature, I'll do something that maybe seems like a bit of a stupid idea at first. I will try sending xbot1 into the bottom right-hand corner here in a straight path um, that clearly interferes with the other x -bot. Now, the system doesn't actually stop me from executing this command. However, it will stop the motion just in time before a collision happens. And I did this to show the system's automatic collision avoidance, which is always running in the background so that the individual x -bots will never run into each other. And once I move x 2 out of the way, so I'll simply move it up by a bit, um, x 1 will continue its motion and finish the command from before. So when we're programming the system, we often rely on this feature to naturally form queues, um, set up buffer zones, and also to handle some types of intersections on the system. Okay, from here, I will quickly recreate our starting positions. So let's send x 1 back into the bottom corner and x 2 back into the middle. Um, because aside from making sure that the x will never collide with each other, we can also just tell them to find their own way around each other without having to specify which exact path to take. So again, with our auto driving feature, I am telling xbot1 to go to the bottom right hand corner and executing this command xbot1 now automatically drives around the other xbot and finds its way to the target. This auto driving feature is particularly useful at a startup of a machine or in other situations where the xbots could be in an arbitrary or unpredictable arrangement. Now, so far, we've only looked at motions in the XY plane. However, because the system is controlling all six degrees of freedom to levitate, it also has the inherent ability to change the, uh, its heights and also tilt. I'll quickly move mover two out of the way here. Um, and then I can control the short axis of the X bot. So, First, I can increase the levitation height up to four millimeters. I can rotate the x around its y-axis, and I can also combine rotation around different axes. So let's add a rotation around its vertical axis. 
um, so that we can have the XBOT in really any orientation that's required. Additionally, at the center of a flyway, it has the capability to rotate a full 360 degrees. Um, with this feature, we're able to rotate the XBOT to any angle, um, which yeah is really useful for reorienting the product or having an additional rotational axis in a machine. And with the rotary spin function, we can rotate the XBOT at up to 700 RPM. Finally today, I want to show you the integrated weighing functionality of the planar motor system. So aside from the position feedback, the system also provides continuous force feedback in all six axes. To use this feature, I am going to start by first zeroing the weight measurement. So I teared it with the tear button. Now if I'm weighing, um, we see roughly zero grams with a little bit of noise. Um, and so now once I add like a little bit of weight in form of this business card and weigh the payload again, we see, okay, roughly two grams. That makes sense. The card clearly was recognized by our, by our system. All right, this wraps up our demo for today. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to reach out to us at any time to learn more about the system or to discuss the details of your application.